Tiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? We'll need to get him cleaned up, and then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Book planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak and the Super Sudzer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next, it's the scrubbers. Is it almost done? We're going to miss the fair. <laughs> Go faster? That doesn't sound good. No! <laughs> no, it doesn't. Maybe we should turn it off. Oh no. I think I broke it. The switch is stuck. <laughs> it's almost finished. All that's left are the buffers. <laughs> Parts back. But now we all need a bath. And I'm still stuck. I'll fix that. I'll have that super sensor robot scrubber fixed in a jiffy. Missing out because of me. Don't be sorry, Emma. Getting clean was even more fun than going to the fair. This thing is awesome. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubbadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the Super Sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. And TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned.
learn that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, scrub a -dub planet. You can only move sideways, just like a real crab. Sure you don't want to play, TK? I'm good. I'm reading. Oh! Oh! Gotcha, Emma! Huh? You can't catch me! I'm fast! <laughs> oh! Which is why I'm gonna get Orbit instead. Whoa! Hey, where'd he go? Orbit? Crab tag orbit, not hide and seek. <laughs> I know. I'm being a hermit crab. This is my shell. Ooh. What's a hermit crab? A hermit oh. crab is a type of crab who lives in a shell. Here, I'll show you. The shell protects the crab. As the crab grows, it needs to find a bigger shell to live in. If it can't find a shell, it might use whatever it can find. Like a bottle? Cool! Wow, I'd like to meet a hermit crab. <laughs> Me too! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a planet where we can meet a hermit crab. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The imagination planet? We want to meet a real crab, not an imaginary one. Arr, maybe. We won't find a crab on the buccaneer planet, unless it's a crabby buccaneer. <laughs> the beach planet! That's the perfect place to find a crab! <laughs> yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Water. Hermit crabs often live in tidal pools or sandy shores. I bet I can find one. Not if I find one first! Bit. That 
That's a rock. Oh, oops. Huh? Look! Huh? There's a crab! <laughs> hmm. Uh. That's a frog orbit. <gasps> Maybe we need to take another look at my e-reader, so we'll know what a hermit crab looks like. Hmm. Hermit crabs are orangey-gray, pincers, buggy eyes. I don't know. It could be hard to find one. <gasps> Phew, I don't think it's gonna hurt us, whatever it is. Simmering circuits? Rob, it's a hermit crab. Huh? It can't be. It's walking forward, not sideways. That's how hermit crabs walk. They're different from other crabs. But where's its shell? Oh, he doesn't have one. He must have outgrown his shell, and now he's a naked hermit crab. Oh, uh -oh. He's a crabby crab. I'd be crabby too if I didn't have a shell to keep me safe. Maybe we should find him a new one. Great idea, Rob. Hi, crab Ort. I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Norbit. We're gonna help you find a new shell, okay? This'll be a piece of cake. As long as it isn't crab cake. <laughs> Rob, but I think Crabart needs a much bigger shell. Like this one. Woo! Pretty! Phew! And open for business! Check it out! Hmm? This is so cool! The most awesome thing ever! What is it? It's a sand dollar! <laughs> I bet Crabart will like it! We've got some shells for you to try on. A crab fashion show. I like it. There he is. We brought you some shells, Crabort. Ooh. Ta-da! Shell number one. What do you think? It'd make a good home, right? Oh! What's wrong with it? It's the right size, and it's brown, and hard, and... smelly! <laughs> <laughs> what about my shell, Crabort? <laughs> hmm, it's a tad too big. Hmm. You can have my sandal. It might make a nice hat or umbrella. Flying disc! I'll get it! Oh! I knew it! Crabwort likes my sparkly shell the best! Oh. Ah. Oh. What are we gonna do? We've already searched the beach. I think we found all the shells. Hmm. Does it have to be a shell? Can't Crabwort use something else? Hmm. Don't worry. There must be something around here that Crabort can use for a shell. Oh! Huh? Huh? Uh. Huh. <laughs> a coconut shell! It's so coconutty, it just might work. It's the perfect size. But how do we get it open? Crabort needs to be able to climb inside. Allow me. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to admit, that's craptastic. Oh, it fits! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we help Crabbert find a new home, we made a new friend. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Yeah! 
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the beach planet to meet a hermit crab. Only he was a naked hermit crab. He had outgrown his shell. We decided to search for a shell for crab work, but the shells we found were too big, too small, too flat, or too smelly. Then I spotted a coconut. It turns out a coconut shell makes a great home for a hermit crab like crab work. And then crab work wasn't crabby anymore. He was a happy crab. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Beach Planet. Bye, Crab Wars. Make-believe horsey. I'm riding a wild bronco. Whoa! What's your horse, Emma? Mine's a beautiful sport horse. Look out! Whoa! Race! Horse! Coming! Woo! <laughs> hey, where's TK? Over here, Rob. Um, what's your horse? It's a unicorn. A what? A unicorn. It's a magical horse with a long pointed horn on its head. But that's different. You need to pick a real horse. But I like unicorns. And besides, I've never ridden a real horse. They kind of scare me. Well, maybe horses scare you because you haven't learned to ride one. You should give it a try. Yes. And riding a real horse is way better than riding a make-believe one. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where TK can ride a horse. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. The pet planet? We want to ride horses, not hamsters. The merry-go-round planet? Hmm, merry-go-rounds have horses, but they only go in circles. Hey, this looks like the perfect place. <laughs> yes, the horse planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
thoroughbreds. Thorough what? Thoroughbreds. That's what racehorses are called. They're super fast. You know, unicorns are pretty fast, too. <laughs> You're never going to find a make-believe horse, TK. But you can ride one of these right now. Are you going to ride one, Orbit? I think so. I just need to find the right time to... <gasps> Try. Hold on! I want you to try a sport horse first. You might like it better. And I want to show you my Bronco. We'll come back and try this one later. Huh? This is it! This is for equestrians! I thought you liked sport horses. Silly. Equestrian horses are sport horses. See? They jump over those hurdles. If they knock any down, they lose points. <gasps> Whoa! Ah. <laughs> Galloping galaxies! I've got to try this! <laughs> yeah! <Whee>! <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> ha! Emma, that was great! Wow! Equestrian horses jump almost as high as unicorns. <laughs> huh? Oh, TK, why don't you try my equestrian horse? We can go jump together. It'd be so much fun. Hey, wait a minute. She hasn't seen a bronco yet. What fun is a wild horse? All they do is buck. That's half the fun. Come on, I'll show you. There it is. Huh? It's a wild Bronco! Look at it go! It's very, um, excited. I think unicorns are a bit calmer. You just have to catch it at the right moment and... Ah! <laughs> yeah! Got a magnet? Nope. A pillow. And a roll of sticky tape. None of these will work. To catch him, we're gonna need a miracle. Or a unicorn! Huh? <gasps> Whoa, easy girl. I need your help to catch my friend Rob, okay? Good girl. Okay, um, giddy up. TK, is is that a? Of course it is. Hang on. Yes, it is. And it's real! Yes, yes, it is. TK, we're so sorry we didn't believe you! Yeah, we shouldn't have ignored your choice just because it was different than ours. 
It's okay. I forgive you. Turns out I really like riding horses. And I think everyone's favorites were great, too. Can we go back and try them all? That's a great idea. And I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> but we're skipping the wild bronco, right? Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> TK had never ridden a horse before, so we went to the horse planet to help her find the perfect choice. TK's favorite horse was a unicorn, but we didn't believe they were real so we tried showing her each of her own favorite horses. Orbit showed us a thoroughbred racehorse. He was super fast. And Emma found her equestrian horse. It was a great jumper, but I thought there was an even better horse for TK to try. That's when we found my favorite horse, a wild bronco, but he was a little too wild. If it wasn't for TK and her unicorn, I would have been in big trouble. We learned that we all like different things, but being different is okay, as long as you're having fun. Well done, TK. Unicorns are my favorite, too. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, take long. It never does. There just aren't enough hiding places on our spaceship. Hmm. We need to find a place to play a really good game of hide and seek. Yes. That's right. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. play a really fun game of hide and seek. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The soccer planet? Soccer's fun, but that's not what we want to play. <laughs> the clock planet. We know what time it is. Time to play hide and seek. <laughs> oh, that looks like a good place. Yes, the hide-and-seek planet. The perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Oh! 
gets my gears going like a good game of hide and seek. And this looks like it's going to be the best one ever. Nope, no one under there. Oh, I sure hope he didn't see me. Hey, who was that? Huh? Hmm. How'd this get here? <laughs> Rob, look out! The broom! One, two, three on TK! Never mind me. I just saw that broom floating in the air. <laughs> A broom can't float, TK. Well, this one did. I saw it. It was floating all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to laugh at me. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> Ooh, I spy with my invisible eye some more fun for Invisible Orbit. Never mind one, two, three on me. One, two, three on whoever was tickling my feet. Well, we're all here, so it must have been Orbit. <laughs> but I don't see him. <laughs> well, I hear him. I'm over here. One, two, three on. Squeak? Oh, where's Orbit? I'm over here. I'm stuck under this. Get it off me. Don't worry, Orbit. We're coming. Not that one. I'm under this one. All right, Orbit. That's enough. Come out, come out, wherever you are. No way. We're playing hide and seek. You have to find me. Come on! I'm over here! <gasps> Help! I fell in a hole! I can't get out! I'm in this big hole! I'm not falling for that trick again, Orbit. But I really am here! You can see me now! That hat that made me invisible fell off! A hat that 
made you invisible? Now you're being way too silly. <laughs> <laughs> Once he realizes we've stopped looking for him, he'll come back to the rocket. Huh? Huh? That hat! It made Squeak... Invisible! Help! Orbit! Orbit! Oh, everyone stay visible until we get Orbit out. I've got an idea. What's your head orbit? You bet, TK. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yay! <laughs> Thanks! Yay! I was starting to think I'd be stuck on the hide-and-seek planet forever. We wouldn't have left you, Orbit. But you were making so much stuff up, we didn't know when you were telling the truth. <laughs> I know you're right. I'm sorry. But even though I got myself into trouble, that was the best game of hide-and-seek ever. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the hide-and-seek planet to find some good hiding places. But Orbit found a hat that made him invisible. So instead of hiding, he played tricks on us. Then Orbit fell down a hole and called us for help. We thought he was still tricking us. But when we found out that he really did need our help, we came to his rescue right away. We learned that when someone always makes things up, it's hard to know when they're telling the truth. I'd suggest that always telling the truth is the way to go. For sure. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye. Just in time. Today is our rocket cleanup day. Come on. See, we're going through our stuff, getting rid of things that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Huh? Yeah, three points. I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk box coming through. Oh. Uh, Orbit, I had everything neatly organized, but you bumped into me. No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy Mr. Fuzzy was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy Wuzz. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? <sighs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. 
Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! Perfect! <laughs> yes, the junk planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. like this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robot? you know you never make friends with a scrap metal loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! <gasps> Hi! Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. <laughs> Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See? It's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled, like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today planet cleanup day. What do you think? Yes, we can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait, I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was. Oh no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless. Oh no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! yeah. So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? Whoa! 
Thank goodness for rocket boots! Mm. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. 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 yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look. I think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely Intergalactic garbage, pal. So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? Hooray! Yay! And we can do our part too by taking some stuff back to the rocket, like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes. And I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day. So we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a pogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rock. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Junk Planet. Hello, everyone. You're just in time. Come on inside. We're playing Explorer. An Explorer is someone who looks for things that have been lost for a long time, like dinosaur bones. <laughs> or treasure. Hmm. Ooh, is that real treasure orbit? Huh? It is to me. It's my lucky coin. Real explorers never take the things they find. They leave them right where they found them and do a rubbing instead. With a crayon and a piece of paper, you can rub just about anything that's bumpy to make a picture, even Orbit's coin. Huh? Huh? Wow! Cool. <laughs> amazing! Now we can take this home to remember our amazing discovery. Wouldn't it be fun to go to a place where we can explore for real? Great idea, Emma. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> it's time for us.
us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can go exploring. Oh, now that does sound exciting. Let's explore the possibilities. The Cheese Planet? That's a good place for a snack, but not so great for exploring. Puzzle Planet? We want to explore ruins, not riddles. The Explorer Planet! That's perfect for our mission! <laughs> yes, the Explorer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to make rubbings of our amazing discoveries. So, huh? which way is it to all the amazing hmm. discoveries? Oh. Uh, oh, I know. My lucky coin will tell us. Ta-da! Oh. It helps me decide on all kinds of things. Star means we go that way. Moon means we go that way. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. We, we go, go that way. way. <laughs> <laughs> has something special they like to hang on to. But don't worry, we can still have a fun mission. Yeah, we're just getting started. And if we keep exploring, maybe we'll find your coin. Uh, but how can we find my lucky coin without my lucky coin to make us lucky enough to find it? Blazing Comet! <gasps> Look what I found! Ancient markings! Those are perfect for doing rubbings. I'll make a rubbing of the circle. I'm gonna do a square. And I'll make a triangle. That one reminds me of my coin. This will be a reminder of our exploring expedition. And of my lucky coin, too. That's the spirit orbit. See? Things aren't happening after all. Huh? Whoa. Amazing! Oh. Look! Orbit made a discovery! I did? You sure did! Look! The star symbol opens the secret door and the square closes it! I wonder 
wonder what huh? this symbol means. Hmm, maybe a snake? Or hmm. a river? Or a... <gasps> Sure isn't good luck. Neither's being trapped inside this ruin with no way out. Aww. Oh, if I still had my lucky coin, none of this would have happened. Yeah, maybe Orbit is right. Now you're all being silly. We don't need luck to help us. We just need to find a way out. But how will we ever find the way out without my... <gasps> lucky <gasps> Yummy! Our troubles are over. Now that I found this... Oh! Huh? Huh? And that's not all we found. Take a look at this. Huh? <gasps> look at all these shapes and symbols. Hmm. Pressing the star shape opened the door to get in. Maybe pushing another star will open another secret door. Yeah! There's a star right there. <gasps> Look! It's on the way out! I'll go for help. You guys wait here. Oh no! Rob's boots are broken! Maybe there's a hidden staircase or a ladder somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Hey! It's a triangle! Just like that one up there. Hmm. I wonder... Yeah. Huh? <gasps> it's an elevator! Nice going, Orbit! That's the way out, all right. But how do we get the elevator to come back down? Oh, what does your lucky coin say, Orbit? Can it show us the way? Hmm. Uh, no! We don't need a lucky coin to tell us that. Look! I remember. Press star shape to open, and square shape to close! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Orbit figured it out! Okay, everybody, on to the triangle! Are you ready? Let's, Let's go! go! <laughs> <laughs> you need a lucky coin when you've got brains like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Orbit. Hooray! And these rubbings will remind us of our biggest adventure ever. Yeah! You know what? I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we visited the Explorer planet and discovered an ancient ruin. But when Orbit lost his lucky coin, he was worried that bad things would happen. And they did. We got trapped inside. Then Orbit found his lucky coin again. Orbit thought he needed it to help us find the way out, but he really didn't. That's how Orbit learned that it's a lot better to use your brains to solve a problem than to hope for good luck. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, 